This disease has torn apart my family. I lost my mother and grandmother to C. difficile. My mother was just the most pure and innocent human being. Prior to October 30th, 2005, my mother and I spoke every day. The couple days leading up to that, we really didn't speak. You know, I'd speak through my father. She wasn't feeling well. She was laying in bed. We took her to the hospital. They tested her for this infection called C. difficile. We found out later on my grandmother had contracted it, and that was the infection she was readministered for. It's imperative that something be done to completely eradicate this disease and spare any other families from going through what we did. If my story can help one person, you know, let one scientist or somebody working on this know what this has done to my family to prevent someone else from going through this, that's a stride. Dear scientist, the morning of October 30th, 2005, started like any other day. I woke up not yet aware that the phone call I was about to receive would change my life forever. My dad called my sister and me with the news that our maternal grandmother was in the hospital and our mother was stuck in bed. Medical staff diagnosed her with something called Clostridium difficile. Two months prior, my grandmother had contracted C. difficile while being treated in the hospital for emphysema. We can't, can't be, be sure, sure that our, that our mother, mother caught C. difficile, C. difficile from difficile. caring for my grandmother, but do know that C. difficile is very contagious and can be passed on easily through close contact. The next day, we learned my grandmother had passed. During that week, my mother's condition worsened. My mother died seven weeks after she was originally diagnosed. She was only 55 years old. Hi, Dale. I'm Nick Kitchen. Welcome to Pfizer. Lovely to meet you. Thank you for having me. Lovely to meet you as well. Thank you so much for coming along and for writing this letter, which I, I've just read for the first time. And wow, it seems like you've really been through the ringer with, with this. You know, I have friends even to this day in the healthcare industry that aren't familiar with C. diff. Clostridium difficile, C. difficile, C. diff. Um, it's a bacteria. So normally, in most of us, we have healthy bugs, bacteria in our guts, and they keep us at a sort of steady level. But the trouble is, what can happen is if that gets disrupted for whatever reason, and, and antibiotics is a classical example where it might kill off some of the good bugs but, but, and then leave a space, the Clostridium difficile can come into that space if it's, if it's there and then grow and that's when you get a C. difficile infection. It produces these poisons, the toxins, and it's those toxins, the poisons, that actually affect um, the gut wall and result in your own gut wall cells being killed. 14 years later, you still have people. They have no idea what it is. You know, there's nearly half a million cases every year here in the United States, and of those, about 29,000 people die. So this is, this is not in any way a trivial disease. And furthermore, uh, the CDC have declared this as an urgent public health threat that something needs to be done about it. So what we're trying to do is with a, with a vaccine, get your body to produce antibodies to those toxins. So they essentially would see the toxins, bind onto them and, and neutralize them so they can't then cause the disease. It's just, it's unbelievable. I mean, and I thank you for your work in this. It's a real pleasure to be able to work on it and a pleasure to be able to talk to someone like you and hear how much hopefully it can impact people in the future.